Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul video, but it's going to be a different kind of haul because it is a haul full of free goodies that I got when I went to a bloggers event. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen that I went to this event last weekend. It is called the Bloggers United Australia event. So basically all these bloggers from around Sydney and that kind of area can just get together and network and meet each other and you know it's just really good fun to meet people who have the same love for doing things like YouTube and makeup blogs and lifestyle blogs and that kind of thing. So we all just got together, there was different brands like yeah different brands showing their products and have they had all these products out for us to test out. And they basically went through and told us a little bit about their brand and gave us a goodie bag. So I'm going to jump straight in and show you guys what we got. So when we first arrived, we all had one of these bags sitting on our seat. So this is chockable lock, a lock full of goodies. So I'm going to just pick things out at random and show you guys what we were gifted. So first up, I have this Boots Laboratories Optiva Radiance Renew Foaming Wash. So I got a facial wash. Then we got this little mini candle. This is by Valencia Bath Treats and it's the Coconut Lime Sorbet flavor and it it smells incredible. I really love this. Then we got a random alcoholic drink. It's called Sophie Spritz. And it's citrus bitter and soda. Citrus bitters and soda over a Riesling base. So interesting to try that one out. We got a Dove Aqua Moisture Nourishing Body Wash. We got this Matrix Texture Builder Messy Finishing Spray for your hair. And another hair product that we got is from L'Oreal Professional. And it's the Jewel Stylers Bouncy and Tender um, Cream for Curly Hair kind of thing. So this looks really good and I'm really interested to try this out. Then we got this little um, goat's milk soap and skincare bag in here. And inside we got a goat's milk moisturizing hand cream. Got... I don't know if we all got the exact same things. I think we all pretty much got the same things. They might have just been different shades just... FYI. And then we got the Plunkett's Vita E Intensive Vitamin E Ointment. So that will be really nice, I think. And then in this little bag, we got this Essence of Jasmine Scented Soy Candles Handmade Bath and Body Treats. So I'm pretty sure this is a soap bar. And it smells really nice. It smells kind of like cherry or something like that. This next product I am so excited about. I've been trying my best not to delve into this bag because I wanted to do the haul. But it's the Cryolan Combi Foundation Duo. So you get the yellow foundation and the darker foundation. So you can mix them together to make your own like custom shade. But I feel like this is going to be really good for contouring and highlighting. So I'm super excited to try this baby out. Then we got four of the Kate Moss For Rimmel Nude Lipsticks. So these are the newest ones. We got, or well, I got 40, 42, 43 and 48. So they're all different shades of nudes. Um, I already have the shade 43, which is one of my absolute favorite nudes. It's very comparable to MAC lipsticks. So I'm super excited to try the rest of these out. From Eye of Horus, we got a liquid eyeliner. So I got a gold shade. So this is going to be perfect for my Christmas tutorials when Christmas rolls around, which it's only like 70 something days, just in case you were wondering. So I'm super excited about this and I love the brand Eye of Horus. I think they are such a fantastic brand. I got this Sea Siren Cosmetics little pack. So it's got all sort of like samples of their products. So it's got a nail polish which looks like a yellow shade. So I don't know about that. But um, we also got hand and nail cream, foot cream, hand and foot scrub, hand and nail cream and some cuticle oils. So oh, we got two hand and nail creams. So yeah, I've never heard of this brand, so I'm not sure what it will be like. We got an Inoxa Cover and Correct Cream Concealer Face Palette. So this has the yellow, green, lavender, apricot, light and medium concealers in it. So I hope this is good because when we were sitting there and I was like peeking into the bag, I this caught my eye. I really was interested in what this was. So we'll see how that goes. And then I got a Purity Facial Cleanser in the little mini size. So this is just a 30ml, which I've actually been meaning to go out and purchase one of these myself because this is my all-time favorite cleanser and I needed one for traveling. So this came at a perfect time. I was so excited to see that in the bag. Then we just got some Wax Away Waxing Strips. 
And we got this little bag from Maybelline. Um, I've emptied the products out, so let me just find them. So the three products that I got from Maybelline, I got a Duo Color Molten Eyeshadow set in Nude Rush. So these feel super soft and creamy. I've felt them before in the store. Um, I got a nail polish in the shade Blackout. And I got a lipstick. This is their new... I don't know what the range is called, but it's like the new spring kind of range. And I got the shade Hibiscus Pop. One of the things I got from NYX is a new Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Napoleon. And I am so excited about these. These haven't launched yet. They're launching in November, maybe. Um, but they are super amazing. The lady actually came up to me and was like... Because she was putting different lipsticks on different people. And she chose me for this colour, which I was so glad because I love this colour. It is so, so, so nice. It's like a beautiful corally colour for spring and summer. And also from NYX, they gave us the entire range of their new coloured mascaras. So these are like pastel shades. We got a lime green, a mint, a coral, a pink and a purple. And I'm so excited to try these out. I'm pretty sure these are exclusive to Target Online, so you can't actually buy them in the store. But if you head on to the website, you should be able to get them. We got another couple of things from Rimmel. We got a Super Curler 24 Hour Mascara. This is their newest one, I'm pretty sure. And I got a Moisture Renew Lip Liner. So it's a transparent lip liner that's meant to make your lipstick stay and not feather. I have two more nail polishes. I'm really excited about this one. This is from the brand Furless, which I've never actually heard of. Um, but the packaging looks really, really nice. It looks very, like, posh and good quality kind of thing. And it's in the shade Grunge. It's like a deep, emeraldy, greeny Christmas tree colour. So I'm going to be pairing that with like a silver glitter when Christmas time is coming. And then I got this one from Fabi Nail Lacquer and it's in the shade Liz's Eyes. So it's a metallic purplish shade. We just got a Slim Secrets Pro Protein Pud with Chia. So my flavour is Strawberry Indulgence. So I'm going to try that baby out. And we also got, well I also got three of these. Um, coffee tea bag kind of things. So they're coffee bean bags. Don't bag it until you try it. And so yeah, I have no idea what these will be like, but I'm interested to try them. I feel like they'd be handy to take to work kind of thing. Second last thing is a UV LED gel polish remover wipes. So removes shellac and that kind of thing. And you just get like a little um, cuticle pusher and a nail file in that too. And then the last thing we got is this One Self Little Perfume Oil. I've never heard of this either, so I'm excited to try this. This will be really good handbag size, I think. So as you can see, we were incredibly spoiled by the girls who organized the event. And then we also got a goodie bag from each of the brands, so I'm going to go through and show those to you. Okay, first goodie bag I have is this Embachi range, and this is actually a skincare range that was created by a lovely girl who we met. It's her and her mum's brand. So in the bag we got a few minis, we got the pore minimizer with tea tree oil, we got the detoxifying clay mask, hand, moisturizing hand and nail cream, and a microdermabrasion exfoliating scrub. And we also got, so we got some little pamphlets just to tell us more about the brand kind of thing. And then in this little box is just some more minis. So these are the gel cleanser um, rejuvenating spray. So it's like a facial mist. And then the day cream. So that's what we got from Embachi. In this little black bag is products from the brand Williams Pro. So the owner of this company, she again, she's only a relatively new company, but she has come out with um, a powder called Zero Powder. And it's made, basically meant to look really good in photos and that kind of thing. So I got the bronzer, which is a loose bronzer. And I also got this retractable Kabuki brush, which is so soft, so I'm really excited to use this. So that's what we got from this brand. They did actually have a coffee machine brand there as well, so we did get a little goodie bag from them. It's just full of um, coffee beans, which probably won't be much good to me, but I can give them to my mum or something. And they also had little lint chocolates in there, but they're all gone. I ate them. Then we've got the brand Walida. So this is meant to be a really, really 
good brand. And the products that we got are the Almond Sensitive Skin Hand Cream. So it looks like that. And then we got the famous skin food for dry and rough skin. So this is meant to be like an all over, like can be used anywhere kind of balm. It's like one of those savior products. So we got those two products from Walida. Then in this pink bag is the brand Elements Bioactive. So we got three full size products from this brand. We got an eye lift hydrogel, a aromatherapy revitalizing tonic. So again like a facial spray and then the age delay night recovery cream so we got those from this brand then from rosehip plus we got an organic daily cream cleanser and one of their pure and natural rosehip oils so this is a cold pressed organic rosehip oil so we got those two from rosehip plus and then from this brand this is one of the brands that intrigued me the most um, it's called Natura Siberica. And the, wait till you see the packaging in these products. Look how nice it is. So I got the shampoo and conditioner. I know that everyone got different things. I know that Hannah, one of my friends, got um, the bath salts. I'm not sure what Casey ended up getting, but I got the shampoo and conditioner. And I'm pretty sure they smell quite good. Yeah, they smell... They have a little bit of that natural kind of smell to them where it smells a bit like dirt, but not in a bad way. I hope you guys know what I mean, where it's like natural and earthy kind of smell. Then we were lucky enough to receive the entire skincare range from the Elucent Whitening range. So we got a whitening spot corrector, a whitening day moisturizer, whitening exfoliating cleanser, the whitening eye cream, the whitening hand cream, and then last of all we got the whitening night moisturizer. So we received full size products of every single product in their range which is so generous of them and just so so lovely. So was super suitful. So we were all super thankful to receive these things. So that is it for the things that we were gifted. And then I just have one thing from our tiny little Sephora trip. Casey and I went into Sephora after the event and I spent $19, guys. I held myself back really well. So all I got was this Formula X nail polish and it's in this gold spa sparkly shade. It's called Sparkle Bomb. And again, it's based around the fact that it looks like a Christmassy colour, so that's why I got this. I definitely could have spent so much more money in Sephora, but, you know, bills are due and we got to gotta pay to live. So I decided to just get the one thing. So that is everything for this bloggers event haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, even though I didn't purchase these products myself and I don't know a whole lot about these products. Hopefully you've enjoyed it anyway. Please let me know if you have tried any of these products and if they're good or if you don't really like them. Let me know your opinions down below in the comments. I would love to read what you think about them. And don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!